This video and hundreds more like it, available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Now I'd like to talk about a topic that a lot of people might not actually uh, know in depth, which is the topic of cropping. Uh, right? There's more than just the crop tool, and there are many more options within the crop tool itself and other tools as well. I'd like to show this to you. It does uh, help me in my work a lot, and it might help you. So here we have a picture of two girls taking a picture of each other. And if you wanted to just crop them here um, and take away the uh, here the part of the, the camera, normally what you do, right, is just uh, you go into the cropping tool, you select the area you want, and you double click and you've cropped, right? That's the cropping tool. Right, now I want to show you another tool that uh, can do the same thing, which is the uh, marquee tool here, rectangular one. And we can do pretty much the same thing. We just uh, select what you want here of the image, go to image and crop, and we've cropped the image. Now, there are a couple more options than just this, right? For example, what we can do here is we don't have to select all of the image area. If we wanted to, we can select, define the top and the left uh, cropping areas, like so. So we have the left and the top. I'll hold down shift and define the right and the bottom. So the bottom and the right. When I go to image and crop, it crops to those edges, right? In the same way, let's undo here. If I go into the elliptical marquee tool and do the same thing, what this will do here is if I go to image and crop, it's just cropping the edges. It's not making a round selection, it's just making cropping the exterior parts of the selection here. Okay, another option that we have here, uh, let's go back to our rectangular uh, marquee tool, is on style here, we can set a fixed ratio, for example. And let's set a ratio of 10 by 8, which is roughly an A4 ratio or a US letter um, sized ratio. And what this allows us to do is when we click and drag, we have, as you can see, there's I can't do much other than scale this proportion here. So I can't make this any wider. This is, you know, I can only make the selection bigger here. And that's what the ratio does. So if I were to, for example, crop here, then I know that I have a ratio that will fit on a regular sheet of paper. So if I go to image and image size, we have, um, ignore here the pixel dimensions, but if I untick here the resample image down at the bottom and put in a width of 10, for example, then we have a height that is very much approximately to, uh, barring you know some pixels we have here, a, uh, a height of 10 inches, for example. Very ro low resolution, but we'll talk about that in a little bit later. So, but we do have the actual document size if we wanted it to be there. Or if we wanted, for example, uh, with a five, then it's half, so this would be a height of four and so forth. So we have a ratio there. And the other option we have to us here is fixed size. Now, fixed size is dependent on um, what your ruler setting is. So if you don't have your ruler up, just press Control R till you see the ruler here, so control R. Let's double click on the ruler. And here on units, you'll see you have rulers, and it's right now set to inches. Let's set that ruler to pixel, for example, and click OK. And now, when we have our um, width, we, we will set, let's say, for example, width of 300 pixels by 250 pixels, for example. Now the fixed size will just set that size you know, the selection, wherever I click, it'll just be exactly that size in pixels. Now, if I do that instead and go into um, inches, for example, then if I just fill this out with, let's say, three, then it'll fill in three inches, five by five inches. And now when we select, we have a selection that will be three by five inches. Now, one curious thing about this is that if, for example, you set in a size that is much bigger than this image, we'll set, let's say, 30 inches by 50 inches, right? What happens when we click? This image is not that big, right? We already um, shown here that if we have, um, as it states here in 72 um, pixels per inch, we only have an image that's 11 inches by 7 inches. So if we're trying to make a selection that is way bigger than the image, what happens? We end up selecting the whole image, right? Because it's trying to select, you know, it's just trying to select everything, you know, up to 30 inches, and it reaches that limit, right? The image is smaller than that. So... Um, that's one thing that you have to watch out for when you're just making these selections is actually what is the size of your image, right? You can't select something that is bigger than it is. But if you wanted to make that image bigger, then you can always go to image, image size, mess around with the options here, or you can go into the crop tool and do just that. So in the crop tool, you actually have the option. Let me just go back here to marquee tool and just show you. We have the option of working, essentially we'll be working with a fixed ratio 
but also with the ability of resizing the image automatically with that. So here we have a width, let's set in a width of 10 inches here. We just, we just worked with the inches, right, on the ruler. And let's set 8 here. Okay. Let's also set the resolution. Let's say I wanted to print this on my inkjet printer, so I wanted this to be 150 pixels per inch. Now, when I select, you'll notice that this works in the same way as the marquee tool did in the fixed ratio, right? It's not a fixed size, right? If I had tried to select 8 by 10 at 150 pixels per inch, it wouldn't have worked. We don't have that many pixels to work with. But why is the crop tool allowing us to do that? Well, the crop tool allows us to set, let me just um, exit out of here, allows us to set what we want our image to end up being, right? This is not really defining what we can select, just like the marquee tool did, right? It just selects what things are, what's in there. So if you try to select something that's more than the image, it'll select the whole image. The crop tool just allows us to just automatically make our image 10 by 8 by 150. So even if I select a little area, such as here, double click on it, then what I've done is I've made my image way bigger. I've made it 10 by 8 by 150, but Photoshop has, has to have uh, increase the image size accordingly. So we'll go to image and image size here and you'll see it's exactly 10 by 8 to 150 but what happens? The number of pixels here is 1500 pixels by 1200 pixels, right? If we undo and go back to the image size, the whole image is only 800 by 530. So what we have really done here with the crop tool is um, just um, made the image much bigger but by setting these um, settings here, then it allows us to quickly resize the image to what is our end goal. So if you really did have, this is your original image, but you do need to print it 10 by 8 at 150, then you can just do that without having to, you know, mess around with the uh, image and image size as you would do here with the marquee tool. If you wanted to do that in the marquee tool, we already have our, um, on our fixed ratio. So we've got the ratio already. So we'll go to image and crop. But now what we have to do is go to image size we have to then put in a resolution of 150 and we have to set our document size of 10 uh, roughly by, by 8 here and we end up with the same image settings so the crop tool with these options here allows us to actually resize that automatically but sometimes you don't actually see what is happening because Photoshop just automatically resizes and sometimes you might think right I've resized my image um, I have it the right size, but the printing is sh very, very bad, very shoddy. I mean, just the, the details are not there. And what's happening is, is Photoshop is just having to make up all these pixels, obviously, right? So even if you were to try to print with the selection you made here with the marquee tool, at least, um, I mean, it would show up exactly the same way, but at least you know that you're having to go to image size and physically make this image going from 563 pixels to 1500 pixels, right? You see the transformation which sometimes can confuse people if you're using the uh, crop tool because you're not seeing that transformation. You can select a little area, double click on it, and all of a sudden it is that size, right? It is 10 by 8 by 150, but look at what you've done. It's just a way bigger image, and obviously it's going to be fuzzier. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.